milky fragrances today. One of my favorite category I'd say like since a few years it's really on trend and I'm obsessed. Before the video start please let me know in the comment which is your favorite milk fragrance. It's always helping the community as well. Thank you. It's not something that you can extract. Most of the time reproduce in lab chemically but you can also find a milky note in florals for example like tuberose or gardenia. It's not really milky notes it's lactones so you have these molecules lactones naturally in some fruit as well like plum and apricot great ingredient to add creaminess fattiness it gives dimension to a fragrance piano santal i had to start by this one because this is how i really got into uh, milky fragrance this is my second bottle of piano santal to tell you how much i like it sandalwood is a a light wood that usually smells a bit creamy and the fact you had these lactonic notes it really pushed that creaminess to the fragrance it's creamy, super sharp dry wood so it's a balance between something dry and something creamy it's so great and you have ambroxan and that gives the ambery like smell in the backbone and really push the projection of the fragrance and I always have compliments super versatile really the fragrance that you need if you're talking about milky fragrance next milk by commodity well <laughs> <laughs> How can you not pick those three when we're talking about milk? You need to not be scared to smell a bit uh, this synthetic note. You have three versions, so you can pick the fragrance that you prefer. Uh, if you want beast mode uh, milk, you have milk plus. Uh, you have a little bit of change of the note. Uh, for me, this one I really like it, but I think it's a little bit less balanced than the other ones. Push the woody notes and the amber trail, which I should like more. But I don't, I think it smells a little bit more, more synthetic. You have the expressive that is basically uh, the one in between. The woogie note of Moagani and it gives something like a little bit exotic and spicy, which I do like. You can't just a bit more sweet, wearable. Mm. Milk personal, that is the one that I'm using the most. I'm very surprised because usually I'm more tend to go for a uh, beast projection and a very intense fragrance and this one you smell the milk but it's a marshmallow like milk so you know it's like cozy like a pillow um, yeah you want to lick it it's so yummy it's a fresh note and it's giving by cedar wood and cedar wood is a little bit more lemony i just i just could eat that all day uh, my boyfriend when he wears that i want to eat him alive poor thing <laughs> next one is american cream by lush we stick on something that is a little bit artificial the key point with Lush is that they often really smell plasticky even the fragrance sometimes I feel there's a bit of a kerosene vibe you know like a petrol like vibe it, not for the faint of heart American cream is one of the best of the collection but it's quite discreet actually uh, it feels just like like a cream like a, like a cream dessert it's not too sweet I don't find it fruity like you can always see on composition that the strawberry I, I don't find uh, personally that much for me it smells like powdery like a cream a skincare like it's not intoxicating for me it's more powdery stays on the skin i couldn't create this fragrance you need to try that this one is ghost in the shell um, cinema reference like um I'm a cinema lover, so I do like that. Uh, I just love the, the aesthetic uh, also of the perfume and the brand. I think it's beautiful. It's one of the fragrances that is on my wish list and I would love to have it in my collection. It's very strange. But like every Italy Libre d'Orange fragrance, aquatic, yuzu like, so you can smell that juicy at the start. Like it opens fruity, you know? A laboratory, like it feels with the time, the dry down is very soapy. It feels like you in a lab, you test product Vini Gaiaol I don't know how to pronounce it don't ask me uh, it smells slightly sweet a little bit smoky a white smoke I have exhale acetate and this smells a bit like banana and I could really smell that banana touch milk fragrance but it feels very airy like very futuristic actually nearly effervescent and I do really like that next one is coffee break by Maison Margiela uh, so it's a classic if you want to try a coffee fragrance it's a mix of lavender and coffee, milky notes. All the line is very unisex, like every fragrance. But it's true that when I smell coffee break, I smell something that is leaning more to the masculine. It's very relaxing though. It's the kind of fragrance you, you wear on a, on a Sunday afternoon uh, with your coffee, you know, like, and it smells a bit like that grinding coffee. Uh, it's relaxing, aromatic coffee that you're gonna smell. It's, it's not groundbreaking, but I think it's 
like Maison Marché La Fragrance, like Jazz Club, um, you want to have them because you know that you're going to wear them often and they're not going to let you down. Remember Me by Jevoy, one of my favorite. If you like exotism, you're going to like that. Friendship Any Flower, you know, solar, body lotion type of vibe. It smells exactly like a spicy chai latte, you know, like cinnamon-like. Be careful though, it's very unique. It's not a blind buy. You need to, to test it and I think on the skin also it changes for some people. Huge amount of cardamom as well. The ball and very addictive. It's those kind of smell that is so special that you, you keep smelling it. Next one is a designer and it's so a scandal. It's difficult to have designer fragrance in milky fragrance. Because of the composition of designer fragrance that are not as uh, concentrated as niche fragrance, most of them, uh, you can't really smell one note that is going on top of each other. It's usually blended, so you can't really smell like milky note properly. But the closest that I found at the moment that is give a good example about a floral scent that can give something milky is so scando. A raspberry is very sweet, uh, but tuberous and orange blossom, and those two together give something ultra creamy, nearly milky. It feels a bit like candied like, bubblegum like, it's super versatile. To be honest, it's actually my favorite of the scandal line. I find the other one that was really generic. My next one is Sunny Side Up by Juliette as a girl. It's not directly a milky note as listed. The coconut milk, so slightly exotic and you know coconut milk, not in real life, <laughs> because in real life it's not sweet, but a coconut milk in fragrance, usually you have something uh, very exotic, nearly like a vanilla cake. It's not over used though because it's cutting with some sandalwood so it feels a bit sharp. Uh, really this one is like for someone that goes on holiday and wants something like a, lightly, a, a bit lightly woody. The only thing that I would say about this fragrance is that it doesn't really last long. If you're like more into skin scent, you're gonna love that. I think it's very um, sophisticated. Next one is me. Ah! <laughs> You know, like there's some people that tells me like put glass window. I will break it in a second, guys. <laughs> this will last, last a minute with me. Uh, milky mask. I'm boiling. Why I'm boiling? Why did I put this? Oh. Molten Brown. Molten Brown is very underrated. Can I just say how underrated it is? I did a full review on it. It's an old video, so you might be bored watching it. Sorry. I, I did it with all my heart and passion, so don't laugh. Do you know just something that about Molten Brown? You know, it's a bit like a, um, a sexy body shop, you know, like a luxurious body shop, really. Um, I feel, I was surprised how the fragrance are actually retail at a price point, like it's not cheap, you know. And I was expecting Molten Run, they do, they're known for body product that it was gonna be a bit cheaper. My bad. Milk Musk is amazing. You have the eau de parfum, the eau de toilette. I prefer the eau de toilette personally. It's very powdery. It smells super clean and super powdery. It has an amazing performance. And what I like is that it opens fresh with peachy and apricot uh, smell. If you like that peachy, uh, soft, velvety skin, you're gonna love that. I love the fact that it opens with those fruit because it's very um, different. My last one has to go for Killian Rolling in Love. There's a lot of iris and tuberous and the blend of them together, the softness, powderiness of uh, iris and the creaminess of tuberous gives something very milky. Feels like almond milk, actually. It's almond milk, actually, is it? Yeah, it's almond milk. Yeah, what am I saying? I love the fact that you can give like a, a simple floral something really addictive. And if the almond milk wasn't here, I would put Rolling in Love in the bean, you know? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! What is this? There's a ghost. No, no, no. No, okay, that's fine. My god, I'm scaring myself. Yesterday, like. <laughs> just a few days ago. Yeah, three days ago, I'm doing a cauliflower gratin. Okay, don't judge me. And then there's the pepper that is uh, like standing like this. And then I'm, I'm cutting my cauliflower. And then the pepper does this. Like, you know, like. This is the pepper. It, it, this is the, the table. It does this. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like... And then I realized that they said... Because you know there was a bit of water, so it like flipped. Idiot! Idiot! Guys, please don't forget to tell me what is your best milky fragrance. I really want to hear, okay? Do a little effort. Just, you don't even say, uh, have to say hello to me. You're like... Uh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Done. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if it's for free and it makes me happy. 
Uh, well, it's not free, it's super thanks. Uh, you can always super thanks me if you tap the little like button next to it, you have super thanks option. You can give a tiny bit of pants for my little person and it really helps the channel. I wish you a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye now!